For those of you who don't know me, a little bit about the background. Former Division I head basketball coach at Florida A&M University for the men, and I started with the women. That doesn't make me necessarily a good coach, because if I had been good, I wouldn't be retired. <laughs> you don't win enough, they will retire you. But we were able to win a couple championships. That can't ever be taken. But regardless of that, this is my favorite time of the year. Why? Because basketball is in the air. And not only is it in the air, whew, we got good basketball. You don't have to use any deodorant or air freshener to make it smell better because it's good. You're getting only the good teams. And the fact that you're wrapping up conference tournament play, of which we've won a couple championships. In fact, we got a podcast coming out. Stay tuned. Subscribe to us about the Noble Nine and their 20 year anniversary of winning the MEAC Conference Tournament Championship with nine basketball players. Gave myself a little time from doing the podcast that we started off, but we're back getting ready to do them now because we're going to speak it like we see it. That's what we do and insights in our podcast. You know, CNC with Corey and Clayton. <laughs> she got Corey full on there. But I digress. Let me tell you. Did you see some of the basketball this weekend with the championships? Did you see some of the basketball this weekend with the championships and the interviews? And I'm not a real fan of Tennessee. But during the interview, I heard one of the guys say he was the director of the bench. Oh my God, I thought that was hilarious. He was director of the bench. That was that was hilarious. Or well, how about Leonard Hamilton's FSU team? They gonna play defense on you. They gonna D you up. I don't care what. And they gonna get after you on defense. But back to my favorite, my favorite week. One of the things I usually try to do is be somewhere on Thursday and Friday because there used to be a time you couldn't see the 1 and the 16 teams, which all the HBCUs are going to always be the 16 teams. But I'm, I'm hung up on small colleges, the smaller institutions. Why? Because I coached at one. But anyway, I always pull for the small guy. I always pull for them. I pull a lot of time for the black coaches. Um, Cause I know what they're going through in terms of being coaches at some of the mid-level and upper-level programs and the amount of pressure they're under. We pull for them to win. We pull for the small schools. We always pull for the HBCU. So Thursday, Friday, we sitting there looking at them, watching them, hoping that they upset the big dogs. Now, you got people that are not a Duke fan. I'm a Duke fan because I'm a Mike Krzyzewski fan. I remember when we won the tournament. And, and Krzyzewski told my athletic director, you need to give that guy a raise. And you need to give it to him right now and sign him to an extension because he showed you he could take his program and turn it around in one year. I was like, wow. I was a fan of that, unsolicited. But you never know what's really going on. You got these small schools and these opportunities to play against the bigger schools and beat them. And beat them. So I'm, I'm, I'll be sitting in front to watch them. It's going to be some guys that you've never heard of. They're going to be heroes by Tuesday. You're going to have some schools. You're going to have some buzzer beaters. You're going to have some schools win that nobody heard of. It's going to upset somebody. It's a great time of the year. Get yourself some popcorn. Sit down. Watch the game. I'm a fast food fan. As you can tell, that's why we don't do a full body shot. So you can't see all of it that I'm trying to get off. So get that fried chicken, get some barbecue, get some chicken tenders, get some wings, get something that you can't mess up. And sit there in front of your TV and watch basketball because you're going to see some great basketball. This is my favorite time of the week. It might not be for you, but it is for me. Pull for the underdog. Pull for the underdog. Hope that if you at one of those major schools at one of those... Uh, Small schools, one of those underdogs, don't get you. If I had to pick, I like the ACC. I love them. 
I like being able to watch them. And the women's basketball game is growing. We got some young ladies from Tallahassee that are playing. You got Jasmine Jones at Louisville. You got Hannah Schutz that's playing at Missouri. You got Mississippi State. You got LaCarrie Salters. Why do I know those three? I know them because we had a little bit to do with coaching them as they came along as young ladies. Hey, it's my favorite time of the week. Hey, it's my favorite time of the year. It's Hoops Week. Sit down. Watch the games. This is Mickey Clayton, the coach. We'll be back. This is Mickey Clayton, the coach. And we'll be back with something about the Noble Nine and the 20-year anniversary of Florida a and University winning the MEAC and going to Charlotte playing Duke in the first round. Step in the game. Done. <laughs> held in Tallahassee, Florida, April 13th. Call now for more information at 850-999-2870. Join some of your local coaches, Ahmad Ali, Claudia Farmer, Gene Granger, and Mickey Clay, bring an assortment of information and over 50 years collegiate experience to you. Find out about establishing team goals, transition offense, individual drills, drills, small things that make a difference, transition defense, creating pressure. Get it all at the Matt Clayton Memorial Basketball Clinic.